Hello everybody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon, a farewell to arms. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to access and beat the new secret floor. Now, this secret floor is a really cool little easter egg sort of hidden gem they've added into this DLC that basically is a nice homage to the entire game as a whole and also it ends off in a finale that is just the reference of references which is just it's really nice they've actually even hired some some people from the original metal gear to actually voice and uh, and play the final boss of this uh, of this secret floor which is really cool and they really went the extra mile to make this special uh, so now let's get right into how to get down to the secret floor so first thing you're going to want to do is make your way to the hollow which is the fourth floor and find yourself this cell creeper great you may have seen this guy before in shops he isn't the same cell creep as you'd find in a shop although he does function the same he isn't quite the same it's uh, the same dude but it's going to function a little bit different um you can still sell items like i said it does it does technically work the same way you can still sell items and it gives you money but there's a bit of a secret to this guy if you give him a master round, I, I don't know if it's specified which master round. I've given him all varied and it seems to work with any. Uh, usually what I do is I just give him my most recently gained master round though and that seems to work. And then two other items. Now the other two items can be junk. They can be glass guan stones or they can be guns. They can be anything. Just two other things and then once you've done that, a little explosion will happen as you see here. It'll pop open and you can jump down in and there you are. You're on the new floor. Now this uh, secret floor has the exact same layout every time. It, it isn't it isn't something that you're going to want to go to every single time. It doesn't have any chests. The only item you can get from it is from beating the boss at the end but what you're, you're going to want to do is make your way through the floor enjoy the references enjoy the enjoy the sort of weird wacky sort of tie wearing bullet kid and the bullet kid with wigs and all this sort of stuff it's it's very it's very cool they made, they made a very interesting floor and then once you make your way to the boss this is where it's going to start to get hard the boss is very difficult i will i won't put that lightly so basically the boss is the cell creep in a helicopter on top of a rooftop which I believe is a Metal Gear Solid reference. Uh, and he has some attacks that are rather difficult. Now, his main attack that he seems to do quite often is these big, massive balls. These big bullets that come rolling towards you from all different directions. These are very, very RNG-based. And by that, I mean they, uh, they, can, they can do anything. They're not pattern-based at all. You do want to try and your best to use dodge rolling and your own intuition to move around them there's no specific place you can stand in order to avoid these in fact blanking this may well be a decent tactic considering he can combo this attack into another another one of his attacks is he fires missiles out at you this this one is in my opinion easier to dodge it's not easy but it is easier than the ball attack simply because they're smaller and they give you more room to breathe and a bit more room to move around. And one of his other attacks is also, he does two landing strips of uh, fire and bullets. Now these just restricts your play zone. If you have flight, it's gonna make this a little easier because you can just dodge roll over it. But if you don't, you're kind of screwed and you're gonna have to play in the tighter area that it gives you. Again, this is another one that you might want to blank, although that isn't going to get rid of the fire. Having something like the sponge or fire immunity of any kind is gonna be really, really useful on this fight just to give you that little bit of extra area to play with so i would recommend if you're going to go down to this floor take a few blanks with you and make sure to prepare because the boss is a lot harder than you would expect it to be uh, but if you do beat this boss you unlock katana bullets i haven't actually had the chance to play with those yet but they sound amazing so i'm very much looking forward to that um, i hope this little guide helped you and yeah i'll uh, i'll see you in the next guide i hope you enjoyed 